The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. This is a meme that I saw the other day and I said, wow, it was amazing to me. So many people in life feel stuck. You feel stuck where you are because you are afraid to do what it takes to get you somewhere else. When at the end of the day, failure is a gift. And guess what? Fear is a myth. Let's get into it. What's up YouTube? It is your girl Lydia Caesar and I am back with another one. Today we're going to talk about two F words, fear and failure. You should be literally embracing both of these words along your journey. Today we're going to talk about three ways to overcome your fears. Three things to do that's going to help you step outside of your box, knock down some walls, and start to walk in your purpose and become a happy individual because too many people are out here living upset, sad, depressed, disappointed because of what? Because you're afraid and there's literally nothing to be afraid of. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I am a singer, a songwriter, an artist, a mother, and a wife. I'm taking you along my journey in this crazy music industry. We can all learn from each other. So hit that subscribe and let's grow together. The first thing I want you to understand is that failure is literally a gift. Failure means that you are putting forth an effort. Every single person who is great in this life has failed many times. They are the people who are literally putting themselves on the line over and over and over. When you put yourself out there, right? When you try things, you're gonna fail. Let's just break it down to the simplest form ever. A small child. I have an 18 month old baby girl. She's one and a half right now. And when she started to walk, do you know how many times she fell? Everybody with children can understand this. Your child is going to fall. So many times you can't even count when they try to walk. Every single one of those falls are failures. They, are, they have tried to walk and they have failed. If they never attempt to walk, they will never fall. But as we get older, we start to become fearful of failure. So we stop taking chances and we start closing many of the doors that are supposed to be open in our lives. So I have three ways that is going to make this process a little bit easier for you. The first way is to prepare. It becomes easier to do things that you are afraid to do when you are prepared. When I get on stage and perform, I am the most nervous when I'm not prepared. If I have to do a set of songs that I don't know, I got my lyrics on my phone, I got my little phone stand for the gig, I have never sang these songs, I didn't really practice them, somebody called me like, yo, we need a singer for tomorrow, we need you to sing eight songs, I don't know, not a one of them. Those are the gigs where my stomach is in knots because I am not prepared. But the gigs where I'm singing songs that I know, like the back of my hand, right? Even though I may be in front of a hundred, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand people, if I know the song and I'm prepared, the fear melts away. So whatever that next step is that you want to take in your life, start to prepare. Prepare yourself. Do the homework. Do the research. Don't just step out there not knowing anything without no helmet on. You know, when you get on the bike, you're going to put on a helmet. Well, your helmet is your research. Do your research. Do your studying and prepare for the next phase in your life, a new business venture, a new job, being more outgoing on social media. Make sure that you prepare by putting together good content, good proposals, a great resume, whatever it is that is going to take you to the next step. Make sure that you are preparing yourself. Do your homework. Do your due diligence. It's going to make the road a lot easier and expect that you may fail and embrace that. Try to take a new outlook and perspective on failure. Look in the mirror and be like, you failed, but guess what? You tried. How many people woke up today and didn't even try? Bro, you failed, but you put yourself out there. You a step closer to where you need to be. You may have lost this one, but the next one may be the one. The only way for you to know that is to put yourself out there. And one of the best ways to put yourself out in the forefront is by proper preparation. Number two is to dive right in. After you have prepared, jump right in. See, 
You're overthinking it. Right now, you are overthinking it. Like, dive right in. What she mean by that? I ain't about to just jump off the diving board into the deep end. Yes, you should. Absolutely, you should. Okay? If you have done step number one, which is to prepare, it is now time for you to dive right in. Do not overthink it. Something as simple as making posts on social media. Some of y'all won't even make posts because you're afraid that they will not be well received. People might not like them and then you will feel rejected. F them people. I know, I know, I know. The posts are for them people. But what I'm saying is the people who don't like it and don't engage, don't worry about them. I don't care if you get five likes and one comment. Cater to those people the next time as well. Just put it out there, set it, forget it. Move on to the next post. Don't overthink things. If you did the preparation and you are proud of the post, move on. And use the same model for every area of your life. You prepared for the job interview. You did your research. You put yourself out there. And if you didn't get the job, it's okay because you did everything the right way. That opportunity just wasn't for you. And that's all good. We take rejection too personally. And that is why a lot of people won't try and they stay stuck in the same place. It's not personal, sweetie. Maybe you were too qualified. Who knows? You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. A lot of times when we get rejected, we leave and we feel like I was trash. I'm not worthy. I'm not worth it. And those are all lies. That just wasn't your moment. Your moment is there. But the only way you're gonna come across it and walk into it is to keep trying and to reject fear and to embrace the possibility of failure. So dive right on in. Third, I want you to act like no one is watching. There's a saying that says dance like no one's watching, right? Or even when you're in the shower and you're singing, that fearlessness that you feel is something that you need to embrace and adapt for your everyday life from today going forward. The possibility of people seeing you try and fail is what makes a lot of us not even try because we don't want to look stupid. It's natural. Like as a child, you don't have that. But as you get older, you start to feel anxiety when you feel like there are eyes on you, right? So you don't want to put yourself out there because if you put yourself out there and you fail, how bad are you going to feel? If anybody's going to put you down because you put yourself out there and you didn't succeed, they don't need to be in your circle anyway. Once you really start to put yourself out there and live your life and start to walk into all the opportunities that are gonna present themselves to you when you stop living in fear, you will see that there are more people out there who are for you than against you. The winners in life have the same mentality. We understand that it takes effort and guts to go after whatever it is that you're trying to go after. You will become part of an elitist group of people who said, F it. I don't care what anybody has to say. I don't care who's watching. I'm gonna go for it anyway. The more you do things like that, the more you will succeed and you will find yourself around and surrounded by other people who are go-getters and hustlers and people who live fearless lives and people who embrace failure. So act like nobody is there and live your life. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna be you, yourself, and you, me, myself, and I, who has to live with whatever it is that you didn't go after. Life is ticking. Time is going. So are you going to go after it? Are you going to embrace fear and failure? Or are you going to sit in your cocoon at home? What was me? I'm not taking no chances. I wish somebody would save me, which they not. Which one? What type of path are you going to choose? Let's, let's fail, man. Let's get out there and Fail our way to success, because that's the only way. All right, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this video with somebody who needs to see it, somebody who's living in fear, and go in love and light. Hey, 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 hey. Let's get out.